Paul's doing to this beautiful day. Anyway, it is kind of cold, so I do have my heater going in my truck. It is too cold not to run it. Okay. Alright. I do have our story that we were um, reading on about the story of Daniel and the lion's den. We do have... Um, I am going to pick up where we left off. Daniel 6 and 19 is where we left off. At the first light of dawn, the king got up and hurried down to the den, lion's den. He, When he came near the den, he called to Daniel in an Ashkenazed uh, voice. Daniel, the servant of the living God, has your God, whom you serve, conditionally been able to rescue you from the lions? Daniel answer, my king lives forever. My God uh, may the king live forever, but my God has sent his angel. He has shut the mouth of the lions. They have, n have not hurt me because I found in cunt sight intensent in his sight. Oh, okay. Nor have I done any wrong before you, your majesty. My, my eyes water when I don't wear my glasses. The king was overjoyed and gave orders to lift Daniel out of the den. And then when Daniel was lifted from the, the den, no wounds were found on him because he had he had trusted in his God. Then King Darius wrote to, to all the nations of the people in every language in all the earth, may you greatly, <clears throat> may you prosper greatly. I issued a declare to that in, in every part of the kingdom must fear and respect the God of Daniel, for he is he is a living God and he endures forever. The kingdom will not destroy his demons. Dominion nor will never end. He rescues and saves, and he performs signs and wonders in heaven on earth as da as he rescued Daniel from the lions, from the power of the lions. So Daniel prospered during the reign of Darius and reigned over Cyrus the person Daniel 7 verse 1 in the years that in the first year of Balzar, the king of Babylon, Daniel had a dream, a vision passed through his mind, and he, uh, as he was laying in bed, he wrote down the substance of his dream. Daniel 
in his first in in Daniel said in my visions last night I look I looked and there before me were four wi wi winds and ha and heaven cursing <laughs> churning up the great sea for the great beast each different from from the the other came up out of the sea the first was a lion like a lion the it had wings of an eagle i watched it until the wings were torn off it and lifted from the ground All right, well, we know that Daniel <laughs> We know that Daniel had to have faith when he went into the lion's den. So, when I was reading Daniel and the lion's den, I um wanted to read about it for the fact that Daniel had to have faith. He put his faith and his trust in his God and God saved him. And it takes a tiny mustard seed of faith to remove a mountain. Just a tiny little mustard seed. That's what I wanted to talk about when I came across this story. God showed me this peri perigree. Well, most people, when they are in a church and they um, are going to church, they're new, they're, they're like, figuring the church out and the pastor gets up there and he talking but it gets a little bit uncomfortable and it gets in a little bit itchy itchy in your seat and things are getting a little bit real up in there and he's speaking to you That's when you're going to need to have faith. Kind of like in the lion's den. It's kind of similar. In similar similarities. The reason why I say that is because when you're being tested, you have to have faith. Because he goes in there and he just whispers. Um, the devil does. He goes in there and he whispers in their ears. <clears throat> And that's why so many people, and it, so many people, um, don't stay in the church for too long. It's because they get a little bit on um, edgy, and they lose faith. No, you got to keep your faith, especially in these times like there is today. Anyway, you liking this content? Like, subscribe. Liking pushes a video so people more people will see the video. I love ya. Peace. Have a great day.